Matrix. Right. We've watched that Tell before. Us about the Safe Act. What is the Safe Act? We passed a law in Arkansas a couple of years ago called the Safe Act, which John Stewart versus anti-trans legislator. Or save adolescents from experimentation, and essentially what it save does. Save adolescents from experimentation. No, you're saving them their lives. John, it's not experimentation. There's already been medical being, research done on this. Uh, go through these experimental procedures to transition their gender from male to female, from female to male. What do you mean by experimentation? Well, all of these uh, drugs that we're talking about have not been approved. And these are experimental procedures yeah, to transition one of those based individuals. adolescents, essentially, from mm -hmm. male to female or from female to male. And what we passed in Arkansas was to simply say that you can't do that, that we are going to protect these children. It so doesn't prevent is, them as an 18-year-old. I think that's right. what's important for Arkansans and Americans to understand. This does not prevent someone at age 18 from making that decision. How many Arkansans in the last five years, before the law was passed, had that surgery uh, to transition from male to female or female to male as a minor? Banger. Well, that it was the best. And know, same thing with uh, the Colbert Report. Uh, in our research, it was zero. Zero. You hear that? Zero. These fucking freaks are making up these laws just to make kids kill themselves, dude. They want they want transgender people to, to kiss themselves. That's it, man. It's fucked up. So it's it's definitely hasn't happened. So you're saying this is it's purely a preventative measure. It's not stopping something that's currently happening. Tell us. All right, when you're in okay, no. Not, oh, here, let's see the second part. It's that the state would say we want to make a decision for your family and your child. To protect them, even though the yeah, American Colbert was so good. I think the the, uh, the his new late night shits, whatever. But the, yeah, Colbert uh, report American was the best. And then once the Colbert report went away, there was that show, The Opposition, with that one tall dude. I forget his name, Jordan Klepper. That show was amazing too. I it sucks that got canceled so quickly. All recommend a certain set of guidelines for children that are expressing gender dysphoria. So I guess my surprise is why would the state of Arkansas step in to override parents, physicians, psychiatrists? That's the thing. It's like, leave this to doctors and psychiatrists, like the trained professionals. Like what like regular fucking person has any right to like say anything like this? It's like, just that's a thing that's between the parents, kids and their doctors. Okay. Endocrinologists who have developed guidelines. Why would you override those guidelines? Well, I think it's important that all of those physicians, all of those experts, for every single one of them, there's an expert that says we don't. Well, need see, the thing is, is communism China, they're not really communist. They're like a heavy capitalist state that's just like authoritarian, really. Like they have like some communist aspects, uh, but it's not like communist. It's like the only true communist country that has ever existed that's like the closest to what like true communism is is cuba and it's a failed state because america forced it to be a failed state we didn't let them even try we were just like oh yeah we're cutting off all world trade from you and you're gonna fail and it's literally written in the embargoes that we wrote on them that we were gonna make them a failed state to allow children to be able uh, to china is heavy capitalist okay take those medications that there are many instances right. where but you know that's not true you know it's not for everyone there's one there's these are the established well i don't know that, that that's not true i don't know that then why you would you that. why would you pass a law then if you don't if you don't know that that's true wouldn't you well i know that there are doctors and that we had plenty of people child, no i get what you mean but that's like that's just like fascism who said that uh you know we that has have nothing to do with communism of the young people who it's like authoritarian totalitarian or, rule you know uh, that they are able to state-sponsored violence once they have the, the help that they need no longer but and the, the real ironic part is that conservatives are supposed to be all about individual freedoms and liberties They're, you're supposed to be able to do what you want without government intervention they argue for having a small government if not no government at all but then when it comes to people actually living their lives if it's like against their religion or something like that that's when they're like gotta we gotta regulate that gender they always regulate in the wrong ways <laughs> Wow. without uh, that medical treatment. That's America. That's conservative. Yeah, right. figure. <laughs> that doesn't comport with any of the studies or documentation that exists from these medical organizations. What, what medical association are you talking about of these doctors? Well, we have all of that in our uh, legislative history, and we'll be glad to provide that to you. Uh, she I can't even talk about it. She doesn't know. She's head. making it you up. You don't have the name of the organization? That, that Off the top of my head. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Tonight's dinner was this creamy chicken. This guy has a TikTok where he makes the best looking food, and I'm going to start trying to attempt to make some of this stuff. Chicken and yolky skillet. 
This one only takes about 30 minutes, and to make it, you only have to dirty up one pan. To start off, you're just going to season a half a cup of flour with some salt, pepper, garlic, Cooking and Cooking stream, yeah. We'll get, well, I'll get back to that. Like I said, I just hate streaming from my phone. Flour it to sucks. Get it all I Next, hate it. we're just going to throw two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of oil. Into We've done some cooking streams before. Then we add the chicken and let that cook until it's nice and golden brown, and we're sure it won't kill anybody. Once both of those goals have been achieved, we're just going to remove the chicken from the pan and add in two tablespoons of minced garlic, one cup of chicken broth, and a cup of heavy cream. Then it's going to get a cup of freshly shredded Parmesan cheese along with some red pepper flakes, thyme, and oregano. At this point, all that's left to do is add in one-third cup of sun-dried tomatoes and a pound of gnocchi before you cover it with the lid for just a few minutes to give it a chance to soften. Then that chicken's going to get stirred back in to rejoin the party, and it's time to eat. If you like easy recipes like this, I've got this one and 49 others in my cookbook, like these sliders, a whole bunch of one pan. Okay, anyway. Yo, based individual right here. These guys uh, that do the good liars, they usually like trip people up and like try to pretend that they're conservatives and get these conservative chuds to say dumbass shit on, on film. But this guy's based. Listen to this. We are here in Nashville, Tennessee, talking to people about the, the recent law that passed uh, limiting drag performances. Uh, how do you feel about that? I think it's stupid. It's government overreach. I mean, let people live their lives. Yep. There you go. Right all National I got to say, you don't have to get into it any more than that. That's all you have to say. These are the biggest and most loaded bagels in Las Vegas. Based this individual. Is one of my 